Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ninth Legion, and let's play some more Factorio. So, we are still on a quest for more oil. So, we are currently going to be heading over to this direction. To this direction, around this direction. We're heading up this way. Uh, is it entirely forested? Jesus. Yeah, that does look like a lot of forest, doesn't it? Um, I need to get to that pump, and then I need to get it kind of connected up to this one. Which is connected up to these ones, which is connected up to over here. Damn. Okay. Well, this might be a, a weird episode. We might have to do a lot of tree cutting for this to work. Alright, let's jump out of the car. What's actually in the car at the moment? Oh, just some fuel. Well, that might as well go in the car. Into the fuel tank. So, I want to bring it down over this way. But to be honest, first I'm going to have to find the damn thing. It's around this way. God, there's so many trees. I can't... I can just about see where I am. It's not great. Oh, nah. Stupid trees! I've got a couple of grenades on me, so we can do some deforestation if we have to. Um, I could try making a flamethrower, but I don't have any flamethrower ammo. Light oil and heavy oil. I'd have to... I could probably make that. Just about. If I went back. Where, where's this oil? We're doing all of this for one oil patch. Because the only other option, really, is to try and take this one, which is going to mean taking out this base. And I swear those weren't there last time. Okay, the uh, biters are clearly expanding, which is bad. Uh, we've already tapped that one. There's another patch over there, but yeah, this is the biggest patch nearby. So we're going to have to try and tap that at some point. Possibly right after we get this one. We just need all the oil so we can keep making all the batteries. Where is this oil patch I can see. It's behind me. Oh, it's there. Damn it. Okay. Alright, we'll quickly shoot down some trees. Luckily, piercing ammo is really good at this. Let's see what we can... Let's clear a space so we can see what we're doing. Alright. My last pump jack can go down. There we go. Now, he's going to need some juice. So, what do we run first? Let's run the pipeline first. Stupid rock. Stupid trees. Stupid forest. Why couldn't I have started in a desert biome? This could take a while. Okay, we're going to use some grenades. So remember, these are loud. If anyone's on headphones right now, you might want to start covering your ears. But, you know, the other thing is... They're also really effective. And then once everyone's hearing returns, I can just start clearing up the damaged trees. I find that's the best way. Use two, and then just quickly shoot down anything you missed. Because most of the trees will be like these, on like one hit point. Or sometimes that happens. I don't know what causes that to happen, but sometimes that happens. Um, and we need to head south momentarily. Where's the actual... Where's the line I'm trying to hook up to here? So we want to clear out... Kind of... Around... This kind of area. I know I'm making a very wide path for what is essentially one pipe, but eventually I'm going to have to destroy all these trees anyway, just because they annoy me so much. Try not to think about all the steel I'm wasting here either. Just, just don't think about that part, you know? It is kind of satisfying, not to sound like a maniac, but, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world just to have them to stand there and quickly shoot some trees down. Alright, run this back along this way. This is a lot of effort for one pump jack, isn't it? 
Ah, look at that. That wasn't even intentional. Okay, now I did pick up some more pumps, so I'm going to actually put a pump in there. Try and get this oil moving through as quickly as we can. And we're going to need some more big electric poles. Well, we are doing pretty well on big electric pole coverage at the moment. We've got a lot of them all over the place. Oop, that was not what I was trying to do. Oop, damage trees. Got to kill the damage trees. We can't let them suffer. There we go. Sorry, I'm just fighting the micro-pixelation to find out how close they need to be. So that is all working. That is sending an extra... 0.1 unit of crude oil down this way. Uh, we're probably going to want... We, we just need more pumps, honestly. Let's just put pumps everywhere. Once I actually hook in the next big section, once I've cleared out those biter bases, there we go. Well, actually, that is actually a 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So it is slowly but surely increasing. good. Now, I am really cutting off the map here, because I'm using so much overground pipe to try and do this. Let's uh, tidy some of this up so I can drive the car through without destroying absolutely everything. There we go. That will at least mean I can get through from side to side. Nope! Oh, damn it. There we go. That was not what I was trying to do. Last section, there we go. Okay. So... Now we've just got to try and claim this area. I think that's the only thing really worthwhile doing right now. So we're going to push out, make a beachhead, put all the lasers in the world around it so it's defended. We'll put some gun turrets around the laser turrets so they're defended. And uh, yeah, we'll hope it holds out long enough. So we shall go for a drive around the forest, which I will eventually burn down once I go back and build a flamethrower. How are we looking over here? Nothing's been attacked over here yet, which is a good sign. Got all the laser turrets set up. So. We'll have to do this on foot. How much forest is there over here? Not a massive amount. I mean, it's not terrible. Let's set up a gate so we can quickly get in and out. See, you can... Yep. So we're going to want to run power straight away, because I'm going to need the laser turrets to destroy the base for me. There's that. There's the base up there. There's already some big biters around. How far can I move you? I can get up to about here. Oh. Okay, you've seen me, which is bad. I just want to put this down. There. Okay, got to clear out more of these trees so I can get my laser turrets down before the biters realise I'm here. You know what, just have all the laser turrets. Okay. That is a medium worm. It's just outside the range of those. I mean, that doesn't matter. Can't, do I want to leave it alive? I mean, I've got to destroy these bases anyway, so I might as well try pushing out a bit more again. 
I'm not sure how far outside of its range I am. Let's test it, shall we? That worked. Okay, we are just going to kind of leapfrog forward in the same manner. Laser turrets are pretty effective. Really? Okay, I guess I'm just a little bit too far away. There we go. Now it all starts coming together. Got to destroy it. Got to go up. Take out that next nearest base. Sorry if I'm not talking very much. I'm kind of concentrating on not dying right now. Ow! Ow! Stop it! Nasty evil biters. Okay, that was that was actually really easy. A little bit time consuming, but they are all now dead. So, God, I can see the biters on the mini map. Uh, Jesus, we're going to need to defend this place so well. But for the time being, let's uh, fall back. Because this is not where we need to be. This was just the expansion to. This is just clearing the ground. Big, the medium-sized worms are pretty big. I mean, look at the size of it compared to me. Jesus. Looks like something out of grabbers. Okay. I'm actually going to leave... I'm going to leave a bunch of turrets back here. Just as kind of like a rear defensive line. I didn't mean to take that away, though. That was that was wrong of me. Uh, we are going to need some more pump jacks as well. Please tell me... Nope, I don't have enough on me to make more pump jacks. What am I missing? What don't I have? Still. God damn it. Okay, well I can at least get the base set up, have some defences in place, and then I can come back. I thought I'd planned ahead, I'm sorry. I made sure to pick up all the pipe in the world. Okay, let's start by putting down some walls. I don't actually have as many walls as I'd like either. And I realised I said that and then started making cool look looking buttresses, but I just decided I really wanted some buttresses on this wall. There we go. We'll make this a professional looking firebase. Got to clear the trees out so people can see how cool my firebase looks. Hang on. I had an idea. Oh, I had an idea. Would that fit in there? Oh my god, I can put lights in there. Right, best day ever. I've got just enough wall for this, I think. 
And people have been complaining about a lack of, you know, lighting, so... No more complaining. Excellent. Um, I might need to expand the walls a little bit, but for now, until I can actually get the pump jacks here, let's just get the gun turret set up, shall we? So, you can come out to there. We're gonna... Whoop, that was entirely wrong. There we go. Nice big door, because I can't drive for shit, so... Get some power set up around this place. Gotta make sure it covers the lights. I'm gonna have to put one right on there, aren't I? Nope, actually, tell you what. Complete waste of resources, but we're gonna do it that way. Okay, now we're gonna want some laser turrets. Yeah, this is way too small. Okay, let's put down some laser turrets. And then we're going to have to go away and come back once I've got all the pump jacks I need to actually put down. But I can lay the pipe on my way back, so at least that will be kind of ready. There we go. Now my plan is, really, to have gun turrets kind of in front. With a little bit of ammo, just in case stuff starts getting through. So kind of lay them out like this. That way, if for any reason power becomes a problem during like a particularly heavy attack, the gun turrets can pick up the slack. They're short of range and don't do as much damage, but hopefully they'll still make it work. Why am I running away? I was going to lay down some pipe, wasn't I? God damn it. I know what I'm doing. I really don't. Okay, I guess we're going to run the pipe out over this way. And as much as I would love to do it all underground, that's just not going to happen, so... Let's just start making our way. At least I know I'm going in the right direction, because all I have to do is follow the power cables. Excellent. And now we can run you under there. And have you pop up over there. Okay, well, before this gets too long, I'm going to take a break. So thank you guys for watching. We're going to continue this next time, this big oil project of ours. So, uh, yeah, hope you're enjoying it, or finding it interesting, or at least not dying of boredom. Feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. And, yeah, hopefully I'll see you later for the next one. Bye.